Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get access to some of the best possible weapons, gear, armor, and a whole lot more at level 1 as soon as you leave the vault and enter Sanctuary. Now I can hear you guys now, well why do I need this? I'm already a level 30 or 40 or 50. Well if you're like me, you either are probably planning on doing a second playthrough, maybe you want to do a second character, or you might be watching this video having never played Fallout 4. So to those of you guys in any of those category, I'm hoping this video is helpful for you. Okay, so when you exit the vault and head down to Sanctuary, you're gonna wanna cross over the giant wooden bridge in the southeastern portion of the city. Now at the end of this bridge on the left on a slight hill, there's going to be a copper statue. This is actually what you want to look for. Now underneath this copper statue is a duffel bag. You can take some of the items in there. However, that's not what we're looking for. You want to then follow that kind of copper statue's line all the way on the edge of this lake. It's gonna be about 100 meters. There might be an enemy or two. So basically just travel until you get past the dock and you will actually notice this kind of compartment in the water. It's actually like a pump and it'll have a switch on it. You can open the circuit breaker lid and you can activate the circuit breaker. So here's where it's located on the map. You can literally see it's just a few feet from Sanctuary and just a little bit farther from Vault 111. So literally, without fighting anyone, you can go to this location, activate this switch. Once you do that, you want to follow the pump up the hill where you'll actually be led to this yellow box. Open the lid and you will actually find that there are some caps inside. Now for me, it was a pretty good amount of caps and it might seem insignificant to you, but when you first leave the vault and literally have nothing, anything of value is going to be super important. So keep that in mind. Now also what you wanna look for here is the 44 snub nose pistol as well as the 44 Magnum rounds. Now this pistol, while it not might look like it has a ton of damage, at the start of the game is going to be incredibly valuable to you. It's hard to find a weapon that does that amount of damage uh, at such an early point in the game. Now, mine had a base damage of 57. Yours, of course, might be lower when you first start the game, but I'm telling you, a pistol like that is invaluable because it does such a high damage. It's gonna be able to kill enemies at the start of the game very easily. And we're not done there. Next to that guy, there's actually a bobby pin box in his suitcase. There's more bobby pins, which are, of course, very valuable at the start of the game. And you should also jump up on the top of this kind of container right here, where you'll find two Radaways, a Rad X, and a Purified Water sitting in a box. So pretty nice takeaway for really just leaving Sanctuary after a few feet. Up next, we're gonna be heading to the robotics disposal ground. As you can see, it's only a little bit farther northeast to the location we're at right now, and you can see its proximity to both Sanctuary and Vault 111. And at the robotics disposal ground, we're gonna be looking for a fat man, which is, of course, you guys know what that is. Uh, and it's gonna be located actually behind some of these destroyed vehicles right here. Now, there's also a steamer trunk. I've already been to this location, so there was nothing there for me. But check out that steamer trunk. It'll probably have a few things of value for you. Go behind these cars right here, and you will see a fat man on the ground. Now, this is, of course, very valuable. If you don't wanna use the fat man, you can sell this for caps. But this is definitely the fastest and easiest location to get such a powerful weapon like that. So this could be great for taking out bosses or legendary or more powerful enemies that you might encounter at a lower level. So very easy to find. It's at the robotics disposal ground just a few feet northeast from Sanctuary. All right, up next, did you know that there's actually a home that contains a hidden cellar in the back of Sanctuary? So basically go to the farthest northeastern home. It's this blue home and you'll notice in the back that there is a root cellar. Of course, go inside the root cellar where you'll notice that there is a bunch of gear, a safe, a wooden chest. Now I've already been down here and I've taken most of the contents and I've taken most of the good items, but what you'll find if you go down here for the first time is gold bars. That's right, you will literally find gold bars, each one of them valued at 450 caps. So once again, you can sell that, you can make a ton of money that way. There's also a few valuable items down here like purified water, some snacks, there's also some ammo as well. Be sure to crack the safe, although at the beginning of the game it is an advanced lock, 
So I doubt you'll have advanced lock picking by then. But of course, if you want to come back to it, maybe after gaining a level or two, you certainly can. So this location in the bottom of Sanctuary is pretty cool, has some nice valuable supplies that at level one can be very useful. All right, up next, we're actually going to be looking for the Concord Water Tower. Now, it can be seen kind of in the southeastern corner of Sanctuary. It's right across the bridge we crossed at the beginning of this video. Basically, what you want to do is actually head over to this water tower. It's not more than a few meters away. And you'll notice at the base of the water tower will be a few goodies for you, including a first aid kit with a stem pack and some purified water, as well as more purified water that's kind of off on its own. Now after you discover that, head over to the right where you'll notice a green steamer trunk that's kind of halfway buried. You can actually check out what is inside. For me it was some bottle caps and some pretty useful weapons and ammo. Of course it might be different for you, but at, like I said, you can find some armor, you can find a nice weapon, you can find uh, some ammo and bottle caps. So definitely check it out, it's located right underneath the Concord Water Tower. And you don't even reach the Red Rocket. We're not even at the Red Rocket yet, and we've got all of these supplies so far, which is incredibly useful. All right, and finally, last but not least, we're going to be drifting out a little farther from Sanctuary, but it's still not more than about a minute's walk. You're going to be looking for this unmarked location on the map. I want to say it was an abandoned military shelter or bunker. For me, there was an eddy inside, so I was at first a little confused, but you'll notice inside this place, there is an ammo chest on the counter, and there's also a novice terminal. Now, when you start the game, you're given the ability to crack novice terminals by default, so everyone has the option to do this and once you get inside you should notice that there is a explosives chest and a guy laying on a bed who's clearly not using it anymore so you can take everything in the explosives box which will give you some pretty nice weapons and of course go to the ammo box and loot everything out of there and of course you can see here is where it's located it's kind of south of the drumlin diner and here's its proximity from sanctuary so yes it is a little bit of a walk but it's actually not too far away and it is worth it to grab some of these goodies Anyways, that's all the information I have for you guys today regarding how you can get some of the best gear, items, armor, weapons, and more at level 1 in Fallout 4. Once again, I figured this would be helpful for anyone doing a second playthrough, maybe who have just started playing Fallout 4. Of course, it is the holiday time. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be getting this for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. So if this video was helpful for you, please be sure to leave a like rating on the video. That'd be awesome. And of course, subscribe if you guys are new or you like daily Fallout 4 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.